Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the when keyword. Now the when keyword is similar to the if statement. So what it does is, let's say you want to catch an index out of range exception um, only when a certain value uh, has uh, occurred. So let's go ahead and create a for loop here. So for um, index as integer equals 0 to 5, what we want to do is add each one of the items from my array to the list box. And you can see that we have my array up here, which is an integer array, and it's got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this holds 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And once we hit 5, we have an index out of range exception. So we want to catch this index out of range exception only when a certain thing has happened. So we'll just type when. And now what we can do is type whatever we want right here. So let's go ahead. And to be able to access index, let's declare it outside of our try try catch statement so dim index as integer so now what we need to do is just get rid of this right here so for index equals zero okay so now that we have index outside of our try catch statement we can run this index out of range exception when index is equal to 5. So if index is equal to anything other than 5 and we get this exception right here it's not going to run what's right here. So let's go ahead and run this. We'll go ahead and click add all and you can see this it says do not access memory that isn't there. And then it's got I am the finally and it beeps right there. So if we do when index is equal to 6, you can see that if we click add all, the program freezes up and crashes because index is not equal to 6, it is equal to 5. It's equal to 5 when the error happens and not equal to 6. So what we can do is if we really want it to only run when index is equal to 6, we can add a catch ex as exception right here and this will catch anything that hasn't already been caught let's say we use a win keyword and it's not going to catch it we can go ahead and catch it down here so we'll just type um, message box dot show ex dot message so if we go ahead and run this if we click add all it says index was outside the bounds of the array and this is not don't access memory that that isn't there because index is equal to 5 when the exception occurs and this only runs when index is equal to 6 and then we've got I am the finally now we can add as many when keywords as we want and you can use them um, when index let's say is equal to null so if we just put when index is equal to null and let's do let's do nothing okay so when index is equal to nothing um, if a null reference exception happens then it's going to show this uh, message box right here so go ahead practice a bit with the win keyword and uh, once you've got that down, once you know the try, the catch, um, using different kinds of exceptions, throwing your own exceptions, using finally, and uh, whatever else, once you got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.